Forest Pack 4.3 introduces Level of Detail, a brand new feature frequently requested by our users. In this short video, I want to illustrate how it works. For this demonstration, I'm quickly creating some assets using Loudwork Trees. This lets you easily reduce the number of branches and leaves. It's a very quick way of making LOD assets, but any geometry or even billboards will work absolutely fine. So with your assets created, you can get started. Forest 4.3 introduces the all-new Forest LOD object. This can be found in the Create panel. You'll need to create one Forest LOD for each set of associated LOD models. And to do that, you simply drag out a marker in the scene. Then you need to add the trees. But before doing so, I'm going to temporarily add some different materials to make it clearer to see what's going on. OK, so now let's add these trees to the Forest LOD object. Just like you would in Forest's geometry rollout, simply add a new custom object or billboard for each level of detail. Next, to use this forest LOD object in a scatter, you simply go to the forest object and select it as a custom object from the geometry rollout, just like a normal tree. So now to demonstrate how to control the point at which forest switches LOD levels, I'm going to go back to the forest LOD object and make some adjustments. Each object in the LOD rollout has a number next to its name. This represents the distance from the camera at which this object will be displayed. In the default max distance mode, this is measured as a percentage of the distance from the camera as specified in the maximum distance value. So let's divide this neatly into thirds by entering 0, 33 and 66%. With that done, I can increase the maximum distance value to see the effect. To blend between the LOD levels and soften the transition, there's a variation slider. The higher this value, the more the levels overlap. If you have multiple forest LOD objects in a scatter, the maximum distance can be overridden directly inside the forest object itself. Simply go to the camera rollout and enter a maximum distance value. From here, it's also possible to derive the maximum distance from the camera's environment range. Or use a custom look at target. And toggle on off the LOD display for all objects. As well as LODs based on maximum distance, you can also control transitions according to the scatter object's size in the camera view. To do this, simply switch the mode to minimum screen size. And then adjust the percentages. Note that you won't see this effect until you switch the viewport to the camera view. And finally, as well as switching geometry based on distance from the camera or screen size, you can also assign a different material for each LOD level. In this example, the trees nearest the camera use a two-sided V-Ray material. In the midground, it's a standard one-sided V-Ray material with an alpha. And for the background, where the leaf shapes are too far away to see, the alpha has been removed. We hope you enjoy using the new LOD tools. If you have any comments, questions or feedback on this or any other feature, please feel free to email us or comment in the Forest Forum thread.